How's it going everybody? Out here at Oak Mountain State Park doing an overnight camping trip. Got my hammock set up. As you can see, the sun's getting low in the background and it'll be getting dark here shortly. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish putting my shelter together. All right, so I got my shelter set up. As you've seen before, I have my hammock gear, Cuban fiber tarp. And of course I have my uh, Eno Sub 7 hammock underneath with the Helio straps. The two new additions I have, the under quilt made by Hammock Gear. This is their 40 degree Phoenix in woodland camo. It's a three quarter length, so it covers from your shoulders to your knees. I'm not gonna close this up until later tonight. I'll adjust it as need be. And then up top, I have the 40 degree burrow top quilt by Hammock Gear as well. Olive green on the outside and brown on the underside. And of course, I always bring my Cedar Summit blow up pillow as well. I originally planned on camping yesterday, which was Saturday night. I'm gonna end up doing this on Sunday night. I had to work all Saturday, and by the time I got home, I was beat tired and didn't wanna do anything. So as you can see, I got my shelter set up over here. The sun's getting pretty low be pretty dark here pretty soon uh, as far as what I brought with me I brought a cooler got uh, bacon smoked sausage a bunch of sodas I like to keep a plastic bag over the ice to help keep some of the cold air in so the ice won't melt as quick I also brought my Osprey 58 liter Exos bag so as you can see the fire pit is empty there's no wood stacked up. That's because the drought in Alabama continues and I won't be able to make a fire in here because they banned all fires. Uh, I hope it ends soon. It's getting annoying. I brought a thermometer with me so I could keep track of how cool it gets tonight. Currently we're sitting at about 83, 84 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's been in the 50s at night so it should get a little cooler. The current setup I have should be working very well. So as you can see it's fall time. Leaves are changing, reds, still a lot of green. The leaves are already dying. You got some oranges, some yellows. And you can see up in the canopy, it's changing as well. Yeah, so last weekend, it was still really green. Just the last few days, the uh, color changes have been a lot more dramatic than they have been. But now it's changing pretty good. All right, so I'm getting ready to make some dinner. Got some smoked sausages I'm about to cook. Trying out cooking on my alcohol stove. I brought a four ounce container of alcohol. I brought uh, an extra container full of alcohol in case this isn't enough. I gotta cook uh, two meals. Usually I use my canister stove. So this will be my first time cooking on an alcohol stove. There's no control on it. So I'm just gonna have to do the best I can with what I got. There's my little alcohol stove. I've done a video on this before. There's no wind, so I don't need my windscreen. I'm using my frying pan to cook with, and I got my tongs. And we're gonna try to pour one ounce in here. Got the outer flame going. As you can see, it's starting to come to life. All right, so this bad boy is prepped. That's pretty impressive. Alright. Let's get the meat going. So this bad boy works pretty good. Check out those flames. That's ridiculous. So as you can see, it seems to be cooking pretty well. I have to flip them a little faster because it's burning. Because I have no control over the heat. It's pretty much one temperature constantly. Crap. I've already run out of alcohol and they're not quite done yet. So I've got to pour a little more alcohol in here. So 
by my estimates, two ounces of rubbing alcohol should be enough to cook three sausage links. You definitely are going to want to have a handle on your frying pan in order to uh, keep it from tipping over, especially when you're moving your food around in the pan. Sausage is done. As you can tell, there's still plenty of alcohol in there. So probably an ounce and a half would have done it. Two ounces was just a little overkill. All right, let's give this a try. See how they turned out. This is the cheddar sausage link. Enjoy. Mm. Good and hot. Oh, yeah, that's good. Mm. Oh, yeah. So it's about 7.45 right now, and we're sitting at about 70 degrees. So it's already dropped 13 to 14 degrees. It's supposed to get down in the 50s, probably 60s. So it's going to be a great night for hammock camping. So one of my main purposes of coming out here tonight was testing out my new top quilt and under quilt. So I could uh, see how well they work. Just got to get everything uh, buttoned up and fine-tuned to the way I like it. Better to test it out before it gets really cold, so I'll be ready for winter time. So I will check in one more time tonight just to show you the temperature before I go to bed. And then I'll call it a night because I'm not going to be really doing much tonight. Because I can't have a campfire because of the fire ban. I'm probably just going to sit in, sit around play some cards for a little while. Wash up dishes and get ready for tonight. bathhouse real quick before I go to bed. It's about 11, 10 at night and it's about 63 degrees outside right now. Got my buff cap on. Should keep you warm with uh, all the setup tonight. So I'll see you guys in the morning.